In just over a month, uh, Jacksonville voters will have the chance to head to the polls to cast their ballot in a special election for sheriff. And this month, we're profiling the one Republican and four Democrats vying to replace Mike Williams. He resigned last month after it was revealed that he was no longer living in Duval County. Tonight, Heather Crawford sits down with Democrat Wayne Clark to hear his vision for making the city safer. This is probably the most important election since consolidation. Wayne Clark says he's the man to help tackle violent crime in Jacksonville. It is imperative that we choose a sheriff that has the experience and the qualifications to make sure that they're ready to lead on day one. I want to be that sheriff so that when I leave, we can show that we've had a multi-year reduction in violent crime, that we've been able to build that relationship back in some of those disparate neighborhoods, building trust, being more accountable, being accessible, being a sheriff out in the community. Clark grew up on Jacksonville's east side and has lived on the north side for the past two decades. I've lived in Duval County my entire life and I plan on staying in Duval County. He retired last year as the chief of the Duval County School Police Department. Before that, he was police chief at the Jacksonville Aviation Authority and spent 30 years with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. I was able to reach the rank of division chief. I was over half the city. I was able to lead the Sheriff's Office efforts from 2007 to 2010 to reduce murders and violent crime to a 25 year low. It's his experience at different agencies that he says sets him apart from the other candidates. When you look at having out of the box ideas, you got to have been out of the box. Those other candidates, all they know is what they know from the sheriff's office. And we know from the last four or five years, that's not been working. I think that I bring in a breath of fresh air, a wider lens. To address the spike in crime, he wants to bring back programs that JSO had when he was on the force, like intelligence-led policing. We use data and real-time street intelligence to tell us when to deploy our officers, where to deploy our officers, and who were the targets that we needed to remove from the street to bring down crime. And he says he would make patrol units more visible, having cruisers turn on one red and one blue light while patrolling. Because when we see the police, Good people check themselves, bad people tend to go someplace else. Building the relationship between the sheriff's office and the community is another one of his top priorities. How do you think JSO is doing in terms of its relationship to the community? Um, I would give it probably a C. To improve that relationship, he says he would be a more engaged sheriff. People want to see their leader. People want to hear from their leader. Do you think that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office should continue to investigate its own officer-involved shootings? People are demanding transparency. And there's no harm in allowing another agency, i.e. the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, to come in and take on that responsibility.